Hello everyone, coming to you live and direct again here today, Hickok 46. Anyway, let me start out by saying once again, there's only a few similarities between me and Hickok 45, and uh, I think today the best one that I could come up is, this guy's got a whole compound at his house there on the ranch to, uh, you know, he's got an outdoor range, I mean, he's got everything out there, and uh, I don't have nothing over here. I, I got to go shooting. In fact, I went shooting today. cost me $22 at the range. And I got yelled at in there for leaving my stuff behind. But uh, that's a whole other story. But the guy tried to throw me out five minutes early. But anyway, he's got a whole range over there to shoot, do whatever he wants on the compound with that big ranch. And here I am. I'm just stuck in this little small house in, in Chicago. And I got to go to the range to shoot. So that's the difference between us. And you got to give that guy a lot of credit because, like I say, he could, shoots a lot of cowboys and he smokes a lot of pots. Okay, so I would like to remind you guys that all this ammo that I ran through, like I said, of all these different brands, 250 rounds, I did not have one jam, one failure, nothing. Every, it ate everything, it fed everything flawlessly with no problems whatsoever. Not one hang up. So, like I said, I'm just loving my new Canic and uh, especially a pocket holster that I made for myself out of the belt holster that came right out of the case. It's sweet. I mean, it's, it locks in there just like it's supposed to, it snaps in and it fits perfectly in my pocket. Alrighty, but on to music and the big show. So here we go. The reason why we're all here today, I wanted to talk to you and tell you a little bit about the new barrel that I ordered. It's got this special PVD coating. Uh, PVD stands for Physical Vapor Deposition. Uh, it's some kind of special coating technology that uses a gas, I guess, to form some kind of film. It's really hard, indestructible film. And that's all done after an etching process to remove all the impurities off the metal and uh, off the gun barrel. And then it's, like I says, the coating is applied. And after the sur surface treatment is baked in and hardened in in some kind of really high heat temperature furnace, it's ready for use. And it's so hard that uh, not even a sandblaster could blast it off. So I'm really excited about it. I wish it would have came before I went to the range today, but uh, I just didn't get it. Uh, but anyway, I just wanted to show you guys that today I ran uh, my Winchester uh, 9mm 115 grain. Uh, I ran 250 rounds, like I says. I ran this uh, NATO 124 grain by Winchester. I ran this Herders. Uh, I guess that's a Winchester brand made by Winchester, 115 grain. Uh, I ran my standard Federal, uh, 115 grain. And then I ran my favorite, my Federal Premium, HST, 124 grain. That's my favorite ammo that I run uh, for my concealed carry, and I love it. And uh, there's my uh, pocket holster that I made for my Canic. And as you can see, the gun is unloaded. And uh, it's a little dirty, but uh, yeah, you can see there it's a little dirty. But uh, see how nice that uh, uh, dot came out? I painted that in there myself <laughs> with a little hardener, glue hardener, glow paint. It's beautiful. And, uh, and anyway, like it says, and we, before we go any further, we'd like to especially thank Lucas extreme duty clp for sponsoring today's program but uh, i just wanted to tell you guys a little bit about this and what major reasons are that you would have this okay and the major reasons that you would get one of these things they're about 150 dollars okay through canic uh and that was with a 10 percent discount but uh these are the main reasons that you would get it is it improves accuracy and performance. Now, this is this is what I've been told, okay? Uh, the coating process has sliding properties to it, so it helps the slide, you know, move up and back against the barrel, okay? It's gonna make it slicker and uh, easier, and it's less wear, okay? And the coating itself uh, is wear and erosion resistance, so resistant. 
So that's that's a big plus right there. And uh, what I really liked about it was uh, it keeps the barrel from overheating. It's heat resistant, the coating. So that's what I was told. I'm going to find that out in about a week. I'm going to go back to the range. But uh, anyway, uh, and it's excessive wear resistant. And that's what I like about it too. So it's going to last a good long time, just like a regular gun barrel though, uh, 50,000 rounds, I guess. Uh, but those are the major reasons other than probably the most important reason to me, which is kind of funny, but it's true, is it, it's cool. It just looks cool. I mean, I'm going to pimp this thing out with this, this gold gun barrel. The gold up against the black is going to look really nice. It's going to look really sweet. But anyway, so that's it. So I just want to let you guys know, uh, don't forget, please, to support the NRA and the Second Amendment. And if you can, please join. We'd really appreciate that. And once again, to all you bad guys out there doing stupid things, you want to stop hate? Just stop making us hate. It's that simple. And really, that's all I have to say about that. So everybody take care and be good because life is good.